What is going on everybody? As most of you already know, my name is Chad and welcome to the Moab for Dummies Village Edition. Before I go any further, can I get a round of applause? This is the last original map that was released with Modern Warfare 3. I did all 13 of them. I got a flawless mob on every single one with a different gun. I don't think you're going to see that anywhere else on YouTube. So with all that said, I never ask you guys this, but could you like this video for me? I'm really proud of this series. It's all organized into a playlist on my channel. I put it all into a show underneath each video to make it easy for you guys to access it. If for whatever reason you're new to this channel and you don't know what this video is all about, basically it's to help you guys get the easiest MOAB possible in free for all. These videos are not meant to teach you how to run around like a crazy man. It's going to teach you how to work the maps correctly. We're going to discuss the best class setups and the best areas in the map to work. So with all that said guys, let's get on with the gameplay. Alright, so Village is a lot like Interchange in that it's a huge map, but all the spawns are kind of concentrated into one area, which would be the village itself. Since we spawned in in the place that we're going to work, let's take a look at the overhead of the map so we can kind of figure out where all the spawns are around us. We're going to move this around a little bit so we can get the guy in the altar pop up. There he is. Alright, so the first spawn is going to be over by the white truck, you know, kind of towards the back entrance to the caves. The second spawn is going to be in the altar itself, you know, where the guys like to hide in the little corner in the back there. Uh, the third spawn is going to be obviously over by the blown up tanker. Fourth spawn is going to be where I'm at. You can see where I'm at right there. And the fifth spawn is going to be over by the small bridge. Right about there. So, now that we know where all the spawns are, let's take a look at the tendencies and the traffic patterns. The guy in altar is almost always going to run back towards the marketplace because he knows that's where a spawn is. Same with the guy at the tanker. 99% of the time, that guy's going to come bombing back down those steps towards the marketplace. The guy on small bridge is almost always going to run towards the village. He may run past the tanker, he may run around the building. But generally, all three of these spawns are going to gravitate back towards the village, which brings us to what you see on the screen now. This is called a heat map, and what it does is it indicates where all the deaths occurred during the match, at least in the areas that we were going to work. The green dots are single kills, the yellow area is kind of where there may have been two or three kills, and then the orange area is where there's multiple kills. What does this mean? It means stay the hell out of the orange area because that's where people die, and that's what we don't want to do to get a MOAB. So you can see where most of the gunfights are going to occur and where you're going to get most of your kills, but there's nothing better than seeing an example. So let's go ahead and roll the gameplay. Like I already said, we spawned in in a really good place, but watch how I check my corner right here because I know there's a guy coming. Always. Easy first kill. And right where you see me at right now, this little cubby hole, this is the safe zone. I always go here right at the beginning of the match, just to kind of feel out the area to see where everyone's going to be at. People don't expect you to be there. You don't want to stay here very long though, because they are going to end up coming back after you, as you see here. But I do pick up my specialist bonus in this area, and then I'll move on to the area that we're going to finally work. The one mistake I did make in this match was I shouldn't have put my motion sensor in the market. I should have put it behind this wall, probably about right where I was standing right here. That way no one's going to see it and it's not going to get shot because a guy does destroy it when I'm at, I think, 17 or 18 kills. But this does show a good example of how overpowered having a good headset is because I basically sound hoard the rest of the game and had absolutely no problem finishing off the Moab. So as you'll see here, I'm going to, I picked up my specialist bonus. I'm going to back out of this area now because it's getting a little too heavy. And the area we're going to work is kind of over by the burnt tanker. You're going to stay in this building here, kind of work around the corners here. Use the walls to your advantage so people don't see. You can see how I kind of pop out when I hear someone coming across the bridge. Same with right here. I hear this guy coming around the corner, and he has no chance whatsoever. Before I get into the setup, I did want to mention a couple things. First of all, you guys will always notice I put my portable radar in a place that it picks up the nearest spawn. This is very important because as long as the guy doesn't have Assassin Pro on, you're always going to know when someone spawns beside you. Secondly, I do come behind this tanker every once in a while if I don't see anybody run out from behind it because, like I said, there is a spawn behind it. And if you haven't seen any traffic from there lately, the guy's probably hiding in a corner or he may be AFK, which you'll notice is the case later in this video. And lastly, even though we're working a very small portion of the map, don't ever stay in the same place after you kill someone because they're always going to come back. They're going to throw a nade in that exact same spot or they're going to come, you know, blasting through their hip firing. And if you move a few feet even, it's going to make for an easy kill because they're probably not going to pay attention to your new position. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the setup just a little bit. Obviously, I'm using the Mark 14. I'm using a red dot and a silencer. My starting perks are the same as the last video. I start out with Scavenger Pro because then you rarely have to pick up ammo. 
Assassin Pro because it keeps you off the radar for those quick UAVs and portable radars that people love to use, including me. <laughs> and I use Dead Silence Pro because it's free for all, and if you hear any footsteps at all, it's obviously an enemy. Specialist Pack, obviously. The first perk I use is Sitrep Pro because it now counters Dead Silence, so you can hear anybody that is using Dead Silence. Second perk is Stalker Pro. You can see how I strafe shoot, and I will link the strafe shooting video in the description. That is a very, very important video. You guys all need to check that out. And the last perk, I just used Marksman because that Mark 14 is kind of a long range weapon, and I like to pick the names up, but again, I've said this a million times. <laughs> um, Use the three perks that are going to get you guys the specialist bonus the quickest. You know what I mean? It's That's the whole goal of it, is to get the specialist bonus and rule from there. As you've probably already noticed, I am running a train on this lobby with the Mark 14. Man, when I get on a roll with this weapon, I feel like I'm unstoppable. I don't even think I got hit by a bullet this game. And there was the Moab, obviously, flawless. And again, this was the last map, or the last original map. Let me know if you guys want me to do the DLC maps. I'm going to try, but it's going to be a pain in the butt trying to get them you know, in the rotation and trying to get those flawless Moabs. So... I may change it up a little bit. Maybe I won't do flawless. Maybe I'll use my favorite weapons. I don't know. We'll do something. But let me know. As always, let me know if this strategy helped you get a Moab. Leave them in the comments below. As I said earlier, please feel free to share this series with your friends. I organized it the best I could. Leave the video a like rating. I would really appreciate it. So let's get on to the recap page. All right, ladies and gents, this is my recap page. On the left is the video I was talking about that deals with straight shooting. I give you a couple other tips that help me personally get Moabs. The video on the right is my last mo for dummies on interchange. You should check that out. If you want to play with me, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, shame on you, but you can redeem yourself right now by clicking that subscriber button. And as always, guys, I appreciate all the support. Until next time, I will catch y'all later. Peace.